What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new episode. In this video, I'm going to review a fragrance from the house of Mencera. And here I'm talking about Mencera's Melody of the Sun. And this is a perfume which was launched in year 2022. So let's talk about it. So we'll start our review as always with the presentation first. You'll get this perfume in this beautiful golden color box. The finish here is chromic. This is Mencera's standard packaging. All of their perfumes comes in this kind of box. Most of the time they are in gold color and sometimes they come in black colored box. But here in this case, this is golden color box. You can see the logo of Mencera here, the name of the perfume, nothing on the sides. Then in the back, you will find some ingredient details with this barcode. And then in the bottom, you will find some more ingredient details and your batch code. So this is the box. And now let me show you the bottle. So the bottle, once again, comes in this kind of pouch here. Once again, this is Mencera's standard packaging. All of their perfume bottles comes with this kind of beautiful pouch. So here, the finishing is leathery and the color is gold. And now let me show you the bottle. And once again, bottle is very similar to other Mencera's bottles. And here you go. The only difference here is the color gradient. You will find one beautiful white sticker in the front with the name of the brand Mencera and the name of the fragrance here. And here you will find a beautiful gradient from gold to transparent. You will get a thick glass base here. The finishing on the top is chromic gold and the cap is made of metal and it's very heavy and magnetic. And here you go. So this is the presentation. And now let's talk about the fragrance. So let me give you the nose spectrum first and then I will try to explain you that how this beautiful fragrance actually smells. So here on the top, you will get lemon, blackcurrant, grapefruit, lavender, pear, and cardamom. And then in the middle, you will get green tea, jasmine, osmanthus, and cedar. And in the base, you will get mint, musk, and amber. Very interesting nose breakdown. And now let's see that how this perfume actually smells. So this is a very fresh, and bright kind of scent in the start. This is a beautiful mix of lemon, green tea, jasmine, and powdery lavender. Lemon and green tea are the most prominent notes or most dominating notes in the opening. So this is how this perfume opens. It's very fresh, citrusy, floral, and very bright. So this is how this perfume opens, uh, but then in few minutes, it becomes a little bit bitter and green and herbal. The note of mate starts to dominate here and it becomes a very different and unique kind of concoction. Something very new. In the beginning, it looks like a fusion of Nishanas Voluncha and Aventus, or you can say a blend or mix of Nishanas Voluncha and Blue de Chanel, which is nice and appealing. But then in the second phase, it changes and it becomes a very dark green and herbal kind of scent. And in this phase, lemon fades away and you will left with a very strong note of green tea, mat and jasmine on the top. And this combination of green tea, jasmine and mat is something very new, something very unique. It becomes more dry towards the dry down and then in the final dry down, you will left with a jasmine, some musky and woody notes and some powderiness. And this powderiness, this combination is going to make this perfume very erotic or you can say very sexy. It reminds me of some luxurious hotel rooms or you can say luxurious spa centers. You'll get that very expensive, uh, luxurious, a soapy kind of feel here at this point in this phase. So this was my experience uh, with Mencera's Melody of the Sun. And this is how this perfume smells. So this was my experience and I'm really liking it. I didn't like it much in the beginning. At the first spray, it smells very generic to me. That Boloncha and Aventus type of feel is what I get in the beginning. But once it starts the journey towards its dry down, it becomes more interesting. And then with every wearing, uh, it becomes better and better and I start to like it more and more. And now I am liking it a lot. So this was about the fragrance of Melody of the Sun from the house of Mencera. And now let's talk about the other aspects of this fragrance. So let's start with the performance first. Performance is good here and this is a very long lasting scent. All Menceras are very long lasting. So the same story goes here. Projection wise, it starts very strong. You will get a very strong projection in the beginning, but then it dies down very quickly and it always stays near to you. Something very good for close encounters 
or something very good for your offices. Inoffensive stays near to you, but still people will be able to smell it once you're going to interact with them. So performance wise, it's good. I have no issue, no complaint. So now for the gender, this is a masculine type of scent. Ladies, they can try it. Let's see if they liked it or not. But for me, this is a masculine type of scent. And for the age group, you should be around the age of 22 years or plus. So if you are 22 plus, you can rock it. And now let's talk about season. So you can use this perfume all year round without any issue. For the occasion, this is a very versatile scent. You can uh, use this perfume in almost every kind of occasion, every kind of setup. Uh, the best scenarios will be your office. If you are going in your gym, if you are going in a mall, if you are going in a party, uh, like any kind of formal event, or if you're going for a dinner or a for lunch, it can work. It can be your daily type of scent. And now let's talk about the price. So you'll get this perfume in 120 ml quantity and with this beautiful presentation and the current price of this perfume in UAE in the gray market is around, you can say 400 UAE dirhams. I have paid for this perfume around 380 or something. I don't remember uh, how much I have paid for it. I have to go uh, in my uh, billing history to see how much I had paid. But I think it was around like 380 or something UAE dirhams. And the current price is the same, 380 to 400 UAE dirhams in gray market. So this was about the price and this was about the fragrance. I'm really liking it. This is something new, something unique, fresh, citrusy, green, herbal. Let's give it a try and see if you're going to like it or not. Do let me know in the comments. So this was my review about Melody of the Sun. Do let me know if you have ever experienced this perfume. Do let me know in the comments if you liked it or not. For me, I'm really loving it. And now we will end this review here and put your scent on, stay fragrant. I'm going to catch you in another review with another great product. Until then, bye.